this is insanity. This story happened a little bit earlier this week. Uh, it goes a little bit like this. I'll link to the full story in the description. But man flies drone. Uh, by drone, I mean a quad quadcopter flying camera. Uh, woman calls police, accusing him of um, shooting pictures of women in a public place. Uh, police does not react very fast. Um, man ignores woman, uh, starts packing his drone to leave. It was his last flight of this particular trip. Uh, woman screams at man and starts to mess around with his equipment. Um, man starts shooting the event with his phone. Uh, very, very smart move. Uh, woman starts to assault man, uh, ripping his shirt, sticking her finger in his mouth. Man doesn't fight back. Again, probably a very smart move. Uh, police shows up. He has his shirt all ripped apart. She shows no sign of being hurt, naturally. Um, so, well, you know, police does what police does. Uh, they assume he's the aggressor. She says she accuses him of uh, assaulting her. So they try to arrest him. The only twist to the story is that he had shot the incident on his phone. He had it all on video. And of course, the video showed that he did nothing but get assaulted by her. So, what happened there? Well, this is all about violence against women. How you see? Well, I, you can see all over the place uh, that violence against women is the bane of our time. Pretty much the worst thing that's happening right now in society. Women get assaulted all the time. That's the, the rhetoric. That's the message you keep hearing. We need to stop this. We need to stop violence against women. We need to put a stop to it. Real men have to stand up and stop the violence against women. Naturally, there, there are implications to that. Um, and... Uh, and Implications that relate to the target of the overwhelming majority of the violence in this world, that is, men. Uh, I've come up with two different models to explain how people see violence against men when they are using such language. The language that we must stop violence against women. First one is implication by omission. I think uh, when you're dealing with limited options, uh, the only possible explanation is that the omitted behavior is fine. For example, if you come up to an intersection and there's a sign that says no left turn, it is assumed that right turns are just fine and no case should be made of people turning right. In this case, the message that violence against women is bad is pretty much implying by omission that violence against men is just all right. In the case of several options, omission often means that the possibility of it is non-existent. For example, when protesting uh, the war in Iraq, many would claim that it is wrong to invade Iraq. Of course, one could then lift the flag I've prev previously lifted and claim, but it's all right to invade any other country? Is that it? Well, no, actually, because there is no risk of the United States invading, for example, France. So we are talking about a specific in a sea of options, all of which show differences with the example that we are talking about. So in this case, we are in denial that, um, that men are victims of violence and that this violence should be stopped. Actually, Either men are not really victims of violence, which is Orwellian newspeak considering the statistics on violence, or they are the victims of violence, but it is fine because they should. Either options, and this is insanity. Now I'm going to take this and go on a sort of a rant as someone who flies these things myself. 
what this story has shown is the um, the absolute necessity of basically filming everything. Uh, is this really the kind of society we want to live in? I don't think so, but it's sort of becoming necessary. The, the, the police in this case uh, were wrong in the way they acted, of course. Uh, they assumed that the, uh, if there's an altercation between a man and a woman, naturally the woman is the victim and the man is the aggressor, which is completely ridiculous. Uh, especially considering even before the video how the kid's shirt was completely ripped apart and she had absolutely no sign of having been assaulted whatsoever. Um, but they did this because that's, that's, the, that's the narrative. That's how society works. Women can do no harm. And, and in this incessant rhetoric that it's never okay to hit women, it's never okay to f even fight back when you're being assaulted by a woman, uh, why would she not assault him? Why would she not feel completely entitled to hurt this man, knowing that this is that the narrative in society is basically telling her, this is all right, this is fine. Um, and I'm not saying that most sane people, women in this case, really use the, this narrative to hurt men. I'm not saying that they do, but why shouldn't they? Uh, there was also, I'll link also to it in the description, uh, a talk by Karen Strawn, in which a man uh, told his story about a girl hitting his son and saying, I can hit you, but you can't hit back because violence against women is wrong. How can we not see this as impl implying by omission that violence against men is fine? I really don't think we can, and that's why I think this is insanity.